Charlie! Danko! Exactly, so we can't afford it. Yes, no, I wasn't actually trying to equate the two. I was saying that the, the, the principle is, is that you wouldn't invest in South Africa as a moral issue. Now, some people would see possibly um, Sunday trading as a moral issue. Some people in the church, no doubt. I think it's a moral issue, all right. I'm not questioning that. I think what has, one has to say to oneself, um, this is an issue, really, between the church and the government, or subsequently the parliament, in which the senators expressed a very strong view. It is not as though the shops were in the van of, uh, of, the, of the lobby of the campaign. And further, now I'll just make the point that under the law, the law as it, as it affects charitable trusts, the church commissioners don't really have any option but to spread their investments wisely in the best interests of their beneficiaries. There really is no escape from that, whatever we might think. So no amount of pressure from within the church on the church commissioners then could actually uh, effectively uh, allow you to change your mind since under the law you actually have to act in their best interests. I don't want to take refuge in the law, but it does happen to be true that the recent Bigari judgment, which restated the law in, in magisterial terms, makes it clear that trustees, such as we are, must operate in the best interests of their beneficiaries. And it just wouldn't be possible to uh, remove oneself totally from a very important sector like retail. Having said that, uh, it is not simply the law. I happen to think that our policy is the right one. Boring!
visit the court. Sniffer dogs were sent inside the court building to make a thorough search of the complex. Remote cameras scanned the approaches. Throughout the committal proceedings, the building will be guarded like a fortress. The police are leaving nothing to chance. There's been another glittering evening for the Prince and Princess of Wales in Washington, this time at a dinner at the British Embassy. Among the guests was the U.S. Vice President, George Bush, who had this to say to the royal couple. Washington, as we all know, is...